Reuben Pantier. Well, Emily Sparks, your prayers were not wasted. Your love was not all in vain. I owe whatever I was in life to your hope that would not give me up, to your love that saw me still as good. Dear Emily Sparks, let me tell you the story. I pass the effect of my father and mother. The milliner's daughter made me trouble, and out I went in the world where I passed through every peril known of wine and women and joy of life. One night, in a room in the Rue de Rivoli, I was drinking wine with a black-eyed cocotte, and the tears swam into my eyes. She thought they were amorous tears and smiled for thought of her conquest over me. But my soul was three thousand miles away in the days when you taught me in Spoon River. And just because you no more could love me, nor pray for me, nor write me letters, the eternal silence of you spoke instead. And the black-eyed cocotte took the tears for hers, as well as the deceiving kisses I gave her. Somehow, from that hour, I had a new vision. Dear Emily Sparks, Emily Sparks, where is my boy, my boy? In what far part of the world? The boy I loved best of all the school. I, the teacher, the old maid, the virgin heart, who made them all my children. Did I know my boy aright, thinking of him as spirit of flame, active, ever aspiring? Oh, boy, boy, for whom I prayed and prayed in many a watchful hour at night, do you remember the letter I wrote you of the beautiful love of Christ. And whether you ever took it or not, my boy, wherever you are, work for your soul's sake, that all the clay of you, all of the dross of you, may yield to the fire of you, till the fire is nothing but light. Nothing but light.